So it's back to work mm. in restoring the front of the chateau. Mm -hmm. I'm cleaning. Yeah, cleaning. And it's obviously looking fantastic already. There's just a couple of bits that we need to sort of carry on doing. Yeah, just to finish off the last bit. There was one bit we were still on the middle, didn't we? we yeah. Ran out of time. So we need to just get back on top of that one. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we've just been on the middle section. We just went along with the jet wash. Mm -hmm. So we found the best way to get all of the sort of marks off and stuff like that is to go over with the hydrochloric acid. So mm -hmm. it is obviously dangerous and it is bad. So mm -hmm. we do suit up pro like properly for it. So mm -hmm. yeah. we have all the gloves on, masks on and goggles on. And all we're doing is we're putting that on, leaving it for about 15 minutes. Yeah, we? yeah, yeah. And then just wash it off, doesn't it? Yeah, that giving it a doing the trick. good, good soak. And what that'll do is that'll get all of these sort of black mold marks. Well, it goes into the granite, especially the granite is yeah. the best. It works best on that. We tried it on the fireplace in the cottage, didn't we? Yeah. And we knew then it worked really well. So especially on the granite, it really comes up well. It won't do the granite any damage at all. No, no, no. It just obviously just gets all of the, the, the marks off it. Yeah. So it just looks a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. So we'll get that on, we'll just put that on with the brush, leave it for a bit and then we can come back and wash that off. Mm -hmm. And what else are you doing? And <laughs> another job that mum wants me to crack on with <laughs> is we've got this lovely um, little porch security light thing <laughs> that we're going to take down and restore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to magic it into a lovely black lantern. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to take this one down and we're going to um, get all the wiring off so we can get all cleaned behind it and then we're going to sort out the wiring for a, a nice sort of lantern that we've got mm -hmm. so once all the front's done we can wire that up and then we'll have a light there mm -hmm. it'll look good just to get it off to be honest because it is an eyesore it is it is off yeah Terry so. will show you what it looks like <laughs> yeah it is a mess so yeah. we'll get that off and then hopefully we'll get the very top of the roof where the like stones are for the guttering there's quite a lot of bits there that need repointing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hopefully we can get those bits repointed as well. Yeah, get all the little bits that need fixing. There's, there's not many. No, no. The little bits no. that need, need doing, but there's not much. There's crack that everyone noticed. Obviously the, the lintels that are there, we're getting someone over to tie those in so they don't get any worse and fill the granite in. But the cement part, we can just do ourselves. So mm -hmm. It hasn't got any worse. So mm -hmm. it is a just a, a historic mm -hmm. yeah. part of it but we're just going to get filled in. Absolutely. So Shall we'll we? get suited up now, get mm -hmm. our PPA and mm -hmm. crack on. Let's go. Come on then.
I'm still cracking on with cleaning the last of the chateau. So I've got quite a bit done. I've got the steps done, I've got the tower done, all this part. We've got all of that clean now. I'm just gonna get the stairs done, the back of the stairs. So we've got all of the um, treatment on there to start cleaning that. And there's this bottom part as well where we just need to go over it again. So yeah, it's working really well, obviously we're using the hydrochloric acid. So we're putting it on, leaving it for about 20 minutes and then washing it off. And it's just getting all of the like black marks that are proper embedded into the, the stone or the cement, it's taken all them off, um, which it's really good. And then on the granite, we're going over a couple of times and it's slowly pulling the, the staining that's on there. So if it's from obviously the, the metal brackets or wherever where they've rusted and it's stained the granite. We're just going over a couple of times with that and it's brought them back as well. So they're looking absolutely fantastic. So yeah, so I've got this last section to do and then this whole side of the chateau will be all cleaned and we'll be able to crack on with whatever little repairs he is to do on the stonework. But even the door frame, like I've done around the door frame or the granite on the door and it just looks absolutely amazing. Because the drain pipe off the canopy came down near there, it used to all just obviously what come down and that's where all of the algae and stuff was really really bad in that corner so to see it now it looks amazing so yeah once we get all this done and the windows are in we will be adjusting the scaffolding so we can start the first canopy so now we've got all of this done we're just wanting to crack on get that other done and then this whole side of the chateau will be completely done and it'll just look amazing clean stonework the canopy the windows, the dormer window on the top, the railings. So yeah, the only thing we'll need is to get the door sorted. But I'll crack on now, get this done, and then crack on to St Kells.
So back up the scaffolding while we've still got it up. Now all the front's clean and it's looking fantastic. All the steps and all of the walls are all clean. I thought I'd come up and turn my attention to the couple of little cracks that we've got in the render and these gaps that we've got on the top of the stones. You can see them. We've got a couple of gaps in them. I thought, well, while the scaffolding's up, I may as well to get these filled in because I don't know when we'll have the, the next option to. As you can see down here, like we've got a couple that are quite big. So that one is and that one is. So I'll just get them, take all this old um, mortar out, put some new in and get them filled in, which is good. And then I can slowly work my way down to get the crack that's on the window there as well. So the, obviously it's just purely superficial, the shadow's not moving or anything like that, which is good. Um, it's just a historic crack, so we can get all filled in. But all I'm gonna do to get these filled in, because of the color that we've got, obviously it's not gray as in cement gray, and it's not as light as lime mortar. So what I'm gonna do is mix the pair together to create, obviously, a lighter, uh, colour of the, the, the cement and a darker version of the lime mortar to blend it in. I've done it around the windows that I've restored and um, getting those in and the new window that went in and the colour match is like as close as we're going to get it. It's worked really well so I know it works and it's going to hopefully work on here as well but I'll show you obviously what I've got and what I'm going to do to, to get this job done. So, like I said, I've got a couple of the cracks right the way along here. I've got this one, it's only a little in, so I'll make the gap a little bit bigger. I've got my hammer and chisel there so I can get some water properly in it. And then these ones aren't too bad to do up there. Got my little eco floor so I can put some music on. And then I brought a bottle of water up. I've got my cement, my lime mortar, and my little spatula to get it in and I'm just going to mix them to the sort of colour that I want normally it's about 50-50 um, mixing them in so like I said hopefully it'll work out again and it'll be more to, to this colour um, you can't really see it like on the window here where I've um, obviously put it in which is good if you can't see it because it just blends in and it's like I said, pretty much identical to, to the colour on the walls so hopefully this will work out and then any other bits I can do um, we'll have to look at some new brackets for the shutters because obviously that one had rotted away and snapped off so we'll be able to dig that out put some new brackets in and check all the other ones make sure they're strong enough to hold the shutters again and go from there but I will get this mixed up and crack on now
So now I've got all of the joints all filled in, I've got all this top part done. So before I move down to the next level to get the bits done on there that I need to, I'm just going to brush over them, just got a soft brush, brush over them just to blend them in just before they're fully dry and um, that'll obviously blend it into the brick properly and it'll get rid of all of the sort of lines and marks off the um, scraper when I put it on. And it just makes it look a lot more natural and just blends it in. So I'll go along the whole lot now with the brush to get this done. I've got a little bit of a crack on the tower there that I need to fill her in and then I can get down to the next level see if there's any bits on there and then get the one on the bottom done see ya and then it'll be looking fantastic so I'll crack on now get these done and go from there Well, these have done amazing. Looks absolutely superb. Yeah, it does. It looks amazing. Now we've got it all properly cleaned. The whole front's done. Yep. And the staircase is done, which has just come up. Mm -hmm. Amazing, isn't it? It is. It's just sparkling. All the granite, the little bits of granite, the little, you know, all the little sparkle in it. It's it's just wonderful. Yeah. It's just so nice. Seeing the detail in it as well, because you've never even looked. It's all just kind of blended before, but seeing the way that they finished everything in the granite, yeah, it really it does. does look like a castle now. And it I does. think that I, I've never thought of it like mm. that before. It's always just been the chateau. Yeah, yeah. no, I've never really thought of it as a castle or now. It does look like one. Yeah, now it's it's coming seeing out the stonework. Yeah, mm. and like I said, when the sun hits the granite and it just shines, it's got a little yeah. bit of sparkle on it. It is. It was a good beautiful. choice to decide to, I you know you were running around about taking it all off and cleaning it properly, but yeah. it was certainly a good choice to, to, and to clean And you were only doing off. a light clean, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we only done a light clean. <laughs> Three times. Well, <laughs> it started off initially like that, but obviously it's gone a lot cleaner than what we initially thought, but in a good way, yeah, hasn't it's, it? Yeah. It's worked out really well. Yep, and it's I, lovely. I think getting it that clean, now having all of the white accessories, it's sort of pulls it all together. Yeah. Like the it railings. looks how it should have been when it was first built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me. It does. It looks, looks brilliant. Mm. And then all of the pointing, we've got all that done. All so that's that finished done. it all off as well and tied it all in so it doesn't look so. Well, you could. It was only. It was right up at the top and it was only a small amount, but it, it was so noticeable. So, and now you've done it, you, it just all flows into one along yeah. the guttering. So it does look tremendous now that, it, you know, it wasn't like there were big massive gaps. No, no, like in the walls, just these little but, finishing yeah, bits just that what you had just pull to it do. all together. It did, yeah, it just finished all that part off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my little trick worked with mixing the lime and the cement together mm -hmm. to get the right colour. Change the colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's blended in absolutely perfectly. You can't see it. You can't see where yep. you've done at all. No, that's, that's, all, all. that's what's so good about it. So. Yeah, it does. It looks brilliant. Yeah, so that's worked out well. Great. And getting rid of that ugly, ugly, ugly light. light. <laughs> <laughs> we have got some nice lanterns to go on there. So we will show you them because we need to get you to spray them. Mm hmm and we need to sort the wiring out which one side's not going to be too bad but the other side's going to be really tricky yeah it's going to be difficult yeah um, 
But now one side's clean, we can get the wire in for that and get that up. Mm -hmm. And it'll look brilliant. Yep. Yeah. But, we, yeah. for now? For now, that is all done. Yep. Yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. That way you won't miss a video. Um, we will see you on Friday. Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going on. We might no. look at repairing the staircase. Obviously, because mm, there's quite yeah. a lot of holes in there. So, we might yeah. look at trying to... Now we've got the, the colour matches. Yeah, getting all, in, all that filled in. Yeah, trying to fill that in and get that sorted. Yep, superb. Cool. But, we will see you then. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.